Today we're in the field discussing gopher tortoises and how the foresters for Rainier go to lengths to ensure that the burrows are protected so that we not only have timber for years to come, but we also have gopher tortoises on our sites for years to come. My name is Blake McMichael. I'm a resource land manager. I work for Rainier and we are out here today on Altamaha Forest in Long County, Georgia. Gopher tortoises are a true keystone species in the fact that the way they affect the habitats they live in provides other habitat for many other mammals, birds, reptiles to be able to use their gopher holes. Eastern indigo snakes use the gopher tortoise burrows as their winter denning habitat. They're an endangered species with federal protected status and knowing about the gopher tortoises also means you need to know about the eastern indigo snakes as well. Rainier's got a very advanced spatial mapping system and that allows us to look across our land base at the different soil types that we have on our property. Gopher tortoises prefer a specific type of soil class. Particularly, they like deeper, well-drained soils that in this area tend to be sandier. They may have some clay in them as well. Heavy clay soils aren't suitable for digging, and if they did, they'd be flooded most of the year from rainfall and water table. While I'm in the field, I can use my phone to walk around and drop points so that the next forester making a decision will remember and know to be on the lookout for gopher tortoises in that stand. We look at it as more of a stand level analysis to know that yes, there's gopher tortoises in that stand. The timber marketing forester, he was saying if they saw an active burrow at the time to leave some high stumps around it for future operations, it would cue me off to say, oh, when I'm out there getting ready to do my activities, there must have been or is a gopher tortoise burrow in this area, whether it's still active or not. That was the point of having those taller stumps in that area. We've got a successful plantation coming back. This was a lot more intensive on the management to get the tree started. It was mechanically planted, whereas up here on the hill where the gopher tortoises are, it was completely hand planted, trying to limit the mechanical activity on the gopher tortoise sites. You don't want to get too close to the burrows in general, but the collar that's in front of the burrow, that area, there's no hole under that portion of it. It's the backside where the burrow goes in the ground that you want to be most careful about not putting equipment or not putting too much pressure because you don't want to collapse that burrow. Rainier as a whole, one of the most important things that we can do is be good stewards of the property that we own and that we manage. We are leaving areas to where future generations also have the animals that live on the property as well as the resources provided by the property. Our forestry activities and the different habitats that it provides from more open areas like this to more closed canopy forest, to somewhere in between this, this very thick, but might be great habitat for rabbits and deer and turkeys. We provide this habitat mosaic across our land base through our forest management activities. I think this is the right thing to do, not only from the Rainier perspective, but the fact that we're out here taking the time to find them, identify them on site, know that they're there, and then back to the important thing of educating our contractors and other people that will be working on the site. You know, I want to make sure that my children can come out and see gopher tortoises, not just on state and federal property, but our property as well, and um, that they're here for future generations. Too.